Uh, we're here in Frisco, Texas. How does it feel to be here? Like, what? What's the vibes this week so far for you? It's vibing. It's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that Texas is not scorching hot right now. Yes, which is 100%. Very nice. It made uh, laying by the poolside yesterday really relaxing. Um, it's awesome, you know, seeing so many familiar faces and, you know, to be a part of this and having now my name in the hat and everything. It's, it's awesome. I'm not up for an award this year, which is okay, you know. But, you know, hopefully next year. Okay. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, so you have a new song dropping Friday. Yeah. Like Can you this talk Friday. about it? Yeah. Really um, soon. Song's called Betrayal. Uh, I was going through some stuff uh, when I wrote that song and felt it uh, to be a very special song and um, wrote it with some really, uh, really kick-ass people who um, actually my first time writing with a couple of them, which was super cool. And. I've since then got back together with them to kind of start forming this new sound that I kind of found through the winter time, okay. uh, which was really cool. And um, it's making this next record process a lot, uh, a lot of fun for me. Um, but that ought, to be dis- that ought to be said. I have a song, obviously, Betrayal dropping this Friday. And two weeks after that, I have another song dropping. Oh, wow. Which no one knows yet. Okay. <laughs> called Relapse. Okay. And they kind These of... These, like, one-word titles. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. do they kind of, like, connect? They play connect. together. They play together. Okay. Yeah. So that's what makes things really exciting. And they're blowing up on social media. I already got people in shows singing them back to me, which is crazy. So fans are wild. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, going into your new sound, your new mm-hmm. album coming off the number one Mm -hmm. like how does that change things for you just like in what what you're doing what you're creating um you know is there less pressure more pressure like how are you feeling about that i feel like you know you can go either way with the whole less pressure and more pressure i've always put pressure on myself being an ex-athlete and i think that you know i am the only one that can expect the most out of myself and if you don't if i don't want it no one can want it for me and I think, you know, getting that first number one under your belt feels good, makes you hungry for the second, third, um, and so on. So that be that to be said, I've been very strategic on, you know, letting Poison uh, continue to do its thing on country radio. Uh, she's continued to stay up there, top on the charts, which has been pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, didn't just, like, fall no, off, No, right? she did not plummet, no. I can't go nowhere without hearing that song. <laughs> it follows me everywhere. Where's, like, the craziest place you've heard it? Uh, that's a great question. It's funny, you know, for me, I've heard it, you know, roundabout places, but it's always when people reach out to me or they're like, oh, I was in the grocery store and you were playing. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, like, that's just so, I'm like, that's just such a crazy thing to me. But that ought to be said, the moment where it really hit me, what I was doing, stepping into this new year, was on New Year's Eve. And I was in the car with my parents and it was about to strike midnight. We were just getting back to my place and Poison came on, Pre Love Poison came on the radio, and that kind of hit me, and I was like, oh wow, like, I'm on country radio right now, and like, stepping into this new year in 2024, it just kind of gave me a different perspective on, you know, what I wanted out of this year and everything, so I'm being strategic on what the next single's gonna be. All right, so this summer, late Mm -hmm. summer, Mm -hmm. you're touring with Jelly Roll. Yep, it'll be, I wanna say, mid-August, I think is when we're starting. Um, So talk about that opportunity, and like, it's so funny. It's just everyone loves Jelly Roll. Mm-hmm. Like whether you're a country fan, like whether you connect with his story, just talk about like getting that call to go on the tour and how excited you are. Well, the fun thing was is that um, I've known this for a minute now. Um, it wasn't even, it wasn't even a, a call. I want to say, when did this happen? We were recording performance video for some whiskey, and was this almost last summer? Oh this wow! So la- this has been in oh, the works yeah. for oh, a while. Oh, she's been. Oh yeah, she's been under the rug. Behind the like, scenes. No okay. one's known. It's been a secret. He came up to me. He was uh, um, rehearsing with his band, and I was uh, coming out of just filming a music video. And him and I bumped into each other in the hallway, and he was just like, "Hey man, you wanna come out on tour with me?" And I was oh. like, "Sure." <laughs> I was like, "What are we talking?" I'll let's, clear my schedule. Like, let's do the thing. <laughs> so. It's been a minute since we've had this kind of uh, kept to ourselves, which is really cool. Um, but I'm super excited that, like you said, that guy's a sweetheart. We got a chance to hang out a little bit after the CMT Awards, which was a lot of fun. Um, I'm just super excited. He's got a cult fan base. I got a cult fan base. And I think that those two worlds colliding is going to be electric. 
Awesome. All right. So will we see you tomorrow on the carpet? Are you heading out to the show? Or are you jetting out of town? Unfortunately, um, I'm jetting out because everyone's keeping me busy. Okay. So well, that's a good problem to it's have. It's a good problem to have. Since I'm not enough for an award, they're like, you know what? We're going to get you back to work. There you and go. And we're going to ship you off somewhere else. I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> All right, send me send me wherever. Yeah, yep. Awesome. So this summer you're touring with Jelly. Later in the summer, like until then, you're you're out there playing festivals and stuff. Yeah. Him and I are on a couple bills together, which is cool. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll see you maybe out on the road. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you.